facts about Pomeranians. Pomeranians have a lot of names and nicknames. They may be known as Pomeranians but go by different names and nicknames. They are considered a part of the German Spitz breed. They're called as Wurgspitz, Deutscher Spitz or Dwarf Spitz. They also have numerous nicknames like Palm Dog, Palm Palm, Palm, Lulu, Swirs and Tumbleweed. Queen Victoria popularized palms, even though Michelangelo owned a Pomeranian. They were essentially an obscure breed until 1888. That was the year Queen Victoria traveled to Italy, where she met a beloved Pomeranian named Marco. She became a staunch advocate for Pomeranians, and is even credited for breeding them from the larger 20-pound dogs. They were to the smaller 6-pound canines they are today. Theodore Roosevelt also had a Pomeranian. The 26th President of the United States also owned a Pomeranian, that he affectionately referred to as Jem. Theodore Teddy Roosevelt had parrots, ponies, pigs, rabbits, cats and dogs, aside from the Chesapeake Retriever, Bull Terrier, and a Peckinjees. He also had Jem, the Pomeranian. Not much was said about the palm except in the letters he wrote to his son, Kermit. Pomeranian dogs bark a lot. While Pomeranians are small but they do tend to bark a lot, which may be a problem if you have neighbors. This is one bold breed, and they often think they can take on bigger dogs with their yappy bark. A way to keep this under control is to keep their mouths busy. They're very active dogs but a chew toy or treat filled puzzle toy will help focus their attention on something else to keep them out of trouble. Two Pomeranians survived the Titanic. According to the American Kennel Club, only three out of the twelve dogs survived. Two palms and one peckinjees. One belonged to Elizabeth Rothschild, who refused to board her lifeboat without her canine companion. The other named lady belonged to Margaret Betchstein Hayes, who wrapped her dog in blankets before carrying her aboard lifeboat number seven.